Hi everyone, my name is Tara Owen, and like you, you're probably a lover and a user of Notion. I discovered Notion probably uh, later than um, a lot of people, but of course I'm happy that I did when I discovered it, and I have been in love with it um, as a whole because it replaced so many other apps and programs that I used, and then some. And it just gave me a different way of thinking about my organization, which typically I, I do believe that the system should be independent of the tool um, being used. You should have a way of you working and organizing yourself and your life. And the tool just makes that better. But what I found for me is that Notion introduced me to the tools that I never knew existed. So um, it's given me a lot um, it's, it's, it's changed my life in so many ways, but enough of the talk about that. Let's go into one of the first things I built when I created my Notion account, which was uh, my weekly planning. I've been on a fairly loose, um, schedule. I, I don't have a um, structure and I found out that I wasn't getting much done or I wouldn't be able to figure out where my time went. So I needed to build some structure around my, my day, what I did. So the first thing I did was to build um, a week. Um, and it's, this is just a place that I plan what I'm gonna do for that week. And it gets updated every day. So that's where we're starting. And of course I have this nice banner that I found on Google. <laughs> And just to give me some inspiration to get started with my day. And here is where I put in the range of the week, just to help uh, me separate the weeks from each other. Then I put the projects that I want to work on. And those projects come from maybe things that come up on the fly or directly related to my goals of things that I want to do this year. And then create is a section that I use for anything that um, re re requires some creating capacity. And right now it's mostly writing, but it could be something like making this video. Um, so anything that requires some creative thinking and putting together, um, I put it here. So I put one or two or three things that I will be working on this week. Then this is where I put in my learning. and. It's mostly courses, online courses at this time. So I place that here. And here is where I put the books I'm going to listen to this week that I plan on the books I'm going to read. And sometimes I would actually put in the podcast that I plan on listening to right now. Um, I don't have any here because I'm sort of freestyling. But typically, if there's a new podcast that I just found or something that's really calling to my heart based on the theme, uh, of the week or something that I'm trying to learn more about, I will preemptively put it here. And here is where I put all of my tasks. And this section is not part of the planning process, but it just allows me to see how much tasks that I have completed as the week goes on. So here are all the tasks. And as soon as I check them off, it shows me the percentage of tasks completed based on planned tasks for the week. And this part right here, um, this this is a collection of my reflection, which I'll show you more about that later. But for the planning, really, it starts here and ends here. And this is just more data collection. And this um, is just a collection of my reflections, which I use in a different section of my um, Notion planner. So here I have some quick links. I have tracking. Uh, which I could talk about this more at a different time, but really quickly, what this is, is I track everything I do every day, my morning routine, some of the habits I'm working on. I track my mood as well, <laughs> and my, you know, my poop, <laughs> just to give me an idea of my my state of health on a very physical, at a physical level, and also, of course, my habits I'm trying to work on. And of course, I have little quick links for the areas that I often find myself needed to go to very often. Here's a section for my reflection. And what my reflection is, is um, I have a, so I'll quickly do a blank 
um, one for you here. And what this is, is sort of like um, a daily plan, but not necessarily. It just, I like to start my day with thinking in a positive way and starting with what I'm grateful for. So I have um, questions I ask myself, what am I grateful for? What made today great? And in the evening, usually after my work day, I would um, answer these questions related to the work that I performed that day. So I like to start my day that way, just to give my mind a nice a place to get my day started from. I also try to choose a mantra, an intention, something I try to get back to mentally when I'm you know, feeling stressed or lost or um, discouraged or whatever the emotion that's um, setting me off. So um, here I have different ones I choose from. If I need to add something new, I just add it and that's what that looks like. And why this is important is because it goes into um, my weekly planning and some of it into my monthly I'm sorry, it goes into my weekly reflection. And at the end of the day, I tally up how much deep work I did that day and shallow work. And I like to also give my score, I keep a score of my effectiveness. And I have it from average good to on fire. I've never had this. This is a very high standard. And I'll show you how I assess that. Um, and of course, I want to send help, which, yeah, it's not... Good. And then I, I have days where I just cross it up as weekend or not working, and that would be this option. And right here is where I um, allow myself to make a little bit of an objective assessment of my effectiveness. And then I give myself one star if I'm able to get two hours of deep work, so two stars if I get four. Shallow work at um, mm, right here, shallow work at... Um, one star for basically double the time for deep work and then etc. Just to give it a little bit more objectivity when I make this effectiveness. And what I do is at the end of the week, I give myself an average weekly effectiveness score. So here I like to put in quotes. I haven't been using this as often, but um, it's a place that if I have a quote I really want to keep with me for that week, um, I would, I would, um, yeah, I would put that here. And yeah, this is one that I put early on because I was just so um, really, this really resonated with me. Anyway, so then I move on here and this is where I have sort of like a recurring um, collection of things that I like to do every day. So it's not just one task, but sort of like a collection. And this is Again, just to give me some structure so I don't miss important things. So, for example, today is Thursday and I haven't checked up my morning routine. So, it usually doesn't trigger me to do these things. Well, in some cases, maybe one of the check boxes or two um, might trigger me. But really, um, it's just to keep track of, okay, cleared, that's done. I can move on to the next task on my or the next agenda item. So here I would just check off the things that I had done and then I would um, check off whatever can be checked off. Um, I know yesterday my sleep and my water intake was quite quite poor so that's not going to get a check. And of course I like to rank my mood and I used to use the smiley faces which I really enjoyed but then what I really wanted was some more data which which is just an average of what my mood um, fluctuated from day to day. Um, so seeing an average was more helpful than just all of the smiley faces, even though that was um, nicer to look at. And of course, my bowel um, <laughs> movements for health reasons. So then I would go off and go ahead and check off my morning routine as completed. Then this would give me a moment to make sure I've done my day reflection which I have done today as you can see today is August 13th and then I go on to um, checking off my tasks so I don't check it off quite yet um, because again this is sort of like a collection of tasks that I mm, that I am um, I do so it could be all of the tasks for today 
And then this is just not doing tomorrow's task. It's just a review of the task I have for tomorrow. And of course, this is just like a little reminder to do my evening reflection. And then that sort of, again, just gives me a nice flow of things that I need to do. So um, everything that's supposed to get done gets done. And I have sort of like the trigger to move on to what's next on my list. Um, so now we move down to my task for the day. And I have little links here just to, um, again, grab my, to help me get to different spots on Notion without, you know, leaving this space. So I have a link for my time blocks, which I'm a big fan of. I started using recently to help me organize my day. And I have a link for my project in case I need to quickly get there for a task or two. And of course, learning, which is just the courses that I take online. So here I have my task for today, really short, but uh, what I want to do is to show you the different filters I have created for my tasks. So I have the task for today, for tomorrow, then I have tasks by difficulty level, by time, by, by priority, and I have a monthly view. And what I really enjoy about this is that I have ways of tagging um, the time it would, I think it would take to complete a task and also how difficult I think it would be. So for example, I use um, weights, piece of cake, meaning this should be pretty easy. So when I, I have um, some time, but I don't have a lot of mental energy or physical energy for that matter, I know, okay, this is a piece of cake, I can do it. And then I go based on, you know, weights, which is heavy, heavy, and this is really dense. Um, task. So in this case, my Spanish homework is, it's not a piece of cake, but it's, it's not quite as tasking. And then I have, I use a Pomodoro um, to keep myself in focus. So one Pomodoro, one tomato is 25 minutes because I, I go in increments of 25 minutes and two Pomodoros, um, one hour or 50 minutes, etc., etc. So then what that helps me with is when I have a chunk of time that's maybe scheduled for admin or miscellaneous activity. And based on my energy level or the time I have, what I can do is just sort by um, time plan. And then you can see um, that it gives me how much time it would take for the task. Um, and I can go based on that, or I can sort based on difficulty level. And it should give me something similar where I can just go quickly and say, okay, this is an easy task. I can quickly check it off without, um, you know, having to make that decision with, based on the task. So that decision is made way ahead of time. So I really like this. It's working for me right now. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing with that. It does take some, a little bit of extra time when you put it in the task but for me it's something that is helpful so I'll keep doing it for right now and then this is something I recently started because I felt like there were also times during my day when my hours were not quite so even with my time block I felt it needed a little bit more teasing out um, as far as planning goes so I don't waste my time so based on my time blocks, I have Tuesdays and Thursdays where I try to dedicate four hours to deep work. And Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I do mostly studying and any miscellaneous related items. Or if I have my clients that I coach, I would also see them during this time. And But what I found was the times that I just had for miscellaneous was not getting used to the best way. So I felt the need to sub label what I would be doing every hour just to make sure that I was squeezing out the best of the hour not wasting my time and that's the end so what I have here is just the space that I use for miscellaneous it doesn't carry on into the next week just like little like my scratch area where I would put links and notes that I really don't need to carry it along to the next week but just something that I would I would use if I needed a quick place to dump something sort of like my post-it um, that I would need to use and then I, I clear it out typically or I just leave it there so this is kind of how I have my week started and in order to build this when I have a new week I go to my planning and review 
and this place has where I would plan for the week so you can see all the weeks I've planned for for the past four weeks I think shows up here and then here is where I do my reflection which is I do do a daily reflection weekly and monthly reflection and here, here is where I would put my weekly reflection here's the effectiveness goal I discussed earlier and it tallies up how much time I spent to deep work versus shallow work week what books I read some noteworthy actions, meaning something I really want to remember when I do my monthly reflection that happened. It could be something I started doing, stopped doing, something that really changed maybe how I, I was thinking about a problem or just something that I feel like it's noteworthy. And it's a database, so it's linked to the reflection. I could quickly go through and just see how my month um, has, has been coming along. And... I also do my monthly reflection here and I just go with the different view and here is where I have my monthly review my monthly reflection and it does also have books and projects I completed and all of the creative work I have completed for that month and to add a new week all I have to do is to go here to new and I open up the week and I can just add on a new week and yeah that's it so I hope you enjoyed this I really enjoy using this right now I'm sure it will change as my usage of notion increases over time but right now this is my process and I've had so many um, videos that I found helpful when I started using Notion because it was quite difficult for me, but I do enjoy the process of designing and customizing and making something that works just right for me right now in this stage in my life. So I will put down links to the videos that I found really helpful that helped me just sort of create what worked the best for me. So happy, happy planning, happy playing around with Notion, and yeah, I will bring you another video next time. Take care.